One of my favorite things to do in the world is to scare people. So I built a robot to do that. Now, if you're here thinking that this is some sort of Mark Rober or Michael Reeves channel, well, you're in the right place. Actually, I have no experience with electronics or robotics or masochistics. Wait, what the f***? Who put that in there? I won't be showing off NASA engineered glitter bombs or telepathic Teslas. Oh, stop! Oh, fucking kill switch! But I will be scaring people, which I would say is 10 times better. Now, you might ask, how am I going to build a robot if I know nothing about robots? Well, that's a great question to me. Why don't you shut up and watch the video? This video will show the process of me learning the Arduino in a week and then putting a robot together at the end. You can see my circuits looking like this to at the end looking like this. Now, Timmy in the comment asks, what's an Arduino? Let's say you have electronics and then you have programs. An Arduino combines them together so you can make cool devices such as AI sex dolls. Is anyone selling? I'm getting my components from this Arduino starter kit which contains components such as the 74HC595 or my personal favorite the LM35DZ. I have no idea what those mean. But the main part of Arduinos are microcontrollers, which are a small computer on a single metal oxide semiconductor integrated circuit. Get out. It's basically something small and can control things. Kind of like your brain. First you have to download the programming language which is only gonna take f***ing 8 hours. Then get your Arduino, plug it into your computer and it's connected. Then I spent the next 20 minutes looking at tutorials. The next day was about coding and controlling an LED, like making them flash. Here's me creating my first circuit, and it went extremely well. God f***ing damn it, why is it not going in? Get in, what is wrong with you? I also take programming very, very seriously, as you can tell by the fact that I decided to set one of the variables as the F word, so all of them are now F words. And the F word program displays 0 to 15 in binary. This circuit is a diode resistor circuit, which is a power source linked up to a resistor, linked up to a light emitting diode, which is an LED, which is linked back to the ground terminal. Why the resistors? Well, because the microcontroller here can only handle up to 40 milliamps of current. Without a resistor, it would draw in 200 milliamps of current. Now, guess what would happen? Would it A, fry the components, B, fry the components, C, fry the components, or D, fry the components? The answer is E, it would fry the components. Now, knowing this information, I still somehow managed to fry 10 LEDs. Today, I introduced the potentiometer. When we turn the potentiometer, we're able to change the voltage, which allows us to adjust the brightness of an LED, or later on, the pitch of a sound. There's also the introduction of if statements, but those are kind of boring, so just leave them out. Anyways, using the potentiometer, I was able to make different lights go on, depending on the voltage. With the introduction to more complex circuits and code, you're bound to make some mistakes, but I'm different in the sense that I never ever have made a single error in my life. Is it gonna work? Shit. Huh. What? This leads to ground. Um, did I stab the wrong hole? So not only did I use RGB LEDs, I also used buzzers. RGB LEDs are red, green, and blue LEDs all combined into one, just like how happiness is crack, meth, and cocaine all taken at the same time. Dictionary.com might say that a buzzer is a diaphragm that oscillates at frequencies that can be programmed with an Arduino, but I just define them as stupid B noises. Oh my god, that took so many tries. Okay, I'm unplugging it. It's so annoying to hear. I posted this on 2 Violin subreddit and no one seemed to like it. Oh, actually it blew up to the top of the subreddit. Like, I don't know how. Today I finally got some photoresistors. You can think of photoresistors as motion detectors. So I thought it'd be cool if I linked up a photosynthetic resistivity. I, I mean a photoreceptor. I mean a photoresistor to a buzzer. It's gonna change pitch when I move my hands towards the photoresistor because I'm changing the brightness. This sounds like an insect being tortured. Now I've created an instrument that you don't even have to touch. 5 likes on this video and I will play Despacito on it. Do it. Oh god, that's loud, turn it on. <laughs> oh yeah, I also learned how to use the button, but who cares. Hello, I am now an unboxing channel. Today we're gonna be unboxing this weird servo that I don't know how to put together. 
Oh sh! What the? F I can just move. The server is a device that allows you to control the degree of the axle from your computer. Of course, you can't have a robot without photoresistors, so I added one. The servo now rotates corresponding to the brightness of the room. If you have two servos mounted together, you can make objects rotate three-dimensionally. That's actually how Michael Reeves made a robot shine lasers in his eye. Ah, fuck! And also how he made a robot penis. See? I told you AI sex dolls were real. The seven days is over, so hopefully I can make a robot to scare people. This is what I wanted to do. The robot will have a photo resistor because motion detection is great and it makes you sound smarter than you actually are. How old is a five-year-old? Once the photo resistor detects someone sitting down by their shadow, the robot will activate. And it's gonna play a lot of scary sounds such as screaming, footsteps, door closing, Jake Paul, knife stabbing. I don't know. I hate my life. Here's where I run into a few problems. I won't be in the room to press the key. So thankfully I learned how to use a servo yesterday and hopefully what this will be able to do is that it'll rotate to hit the keyboard. The only problem is I haven't tested it to see if it will actually work. Okay, it works. I no longer have to stab myself. Now I have to write the Python program and here's the second problem. I haven't written Python in over a year. I don't know what any of this is. So I stole it off of Google. Like Darmian once said, stealing is the best way to victory. That quote made as much sense as all of his other quotes. This is the weird ratchet nest that I made. This is the code in Python that controls the sound. This is the code in Arduino that controls all this. It controls this, which slams the keyboard. If it slams the keyboard, this Python picks it up and then plays a screaming sound. Now, I'm not an audio engineer, so I kind of just spammed a lot of audio clips in here. And then just for fun, I decided to add the Rick rule at the end. I don't know. I, I, I thought it'd be funny. The Arduino program's done, the Python program stolen but done, the circuit done, the setup done, shooting up cocaine done. Now it was time to test it. Oh, Now you might think like, haha loser, he didn't even flinch. Well guess what? He was so traumatized that he couldn't even move. Did that scare you? A little bit. Like I said, traumatized. Go check out my brother, he does tutorials on how to get illegal firearms. You should definitely watch those. Don't forget to subscribe or else I'll set this up in your room. And you don't want to get traumatized. Bye. I uh, don't really know what I'm looking at. What the f is this mess? Oh my god.